Good morning, happy Monday. It is 40 degrees outside and snow on the ground. My back, my lower back hurts so bad. A shot of borscht, borscht. See, there you go, there's my accent. I can't switch languages mid-sentence. I need, I have insurance now. So, yay! And yesterday I also watched Made in Chelsea. Speaking of young and old and... Stephanie Pratt. I've never watched whatever show she was on here in the US. Stephanie Pratt really liked Julius. He's good looking. He's too good looking. I'm not convinced he's a good guy. So he's 23 and she acts like, oh my gosh, that's so young. She doesn't look that old and she's not that old. Seven years is not a huge difference. Like, I just, it kind of bothered me. My last quasi one month relationship, two months, one month, two months, two months. So my last relationship was seven year difference and I didn't feel it. You feel a little bit. I guess I felt this way with my ex person. I don't want them to miss out on regular things people their age do. I want them to get the most out of life because I want everyone to get the most out of life. And the thing is though, it's not because of my age. I've always been that way. So it d didn't even matter if I would have been his age. I have uh, an adventurous streak, but in different ways, I think. And he had a very homey streak, much more than me. I mean, and this bothered me because I was thinking about this this weekend, considering that the anniversary of when we met almost, sort of, but not really. And I kept thinking about it, I'm not going to lie afterwards. The biggest problem I had was with our mutual friend, who I knew for so many years. On and off, yes, because I only knew him pretty much when he wasn't getting along with his girlfriend, which should have been a red flag. I don't know, I'm naive that way, and I believe in people being like me, and they're not. He insisted that I go out and meet someone to get married and have kids with. And I felt so insulted because that was just such a generic and Romanian response. That wasn't who I am and he knew that. They both kind of sort of started attacking me with that. And I'm like, where are you getting this from? I never mentioned, I did mention that I had always wanted See, you say stuff and then people take it the wrong way. I did always want to have kids when I was 19. I didn't want to have my own kids technically. I wanted to adopt, which got, we got into this huge conversation like, oh, he didn't know if he wanted to adopt. He wanted his own kids and two kids it's because his parents had two kids. Like, wow, great thinking for yourself, I see. I just felt like I was being pegged into something that I wasn't even close to. Just that was a comment that had nothing to do with wanting kids right now. I'm not going to have them tomorrow and I'm definitely 100% not searching for someone to have kids with. 100% I can tell you that. I just wanted to get that off my chest for, I don't know, the millionth time. This friend who was supposed to know me or at least listen to me and say, oh, okay, well then that's fine but still it won't work out with him. I'm like, okay, fine, that's not the point, but don't tell me that he's doing me a favor by letting me go to find you know guy who I am I can marry and have kids with like tomorrow <laughs> no that's not what I asked for I also thought maybe that was the issue too because maybe he wants that that wasn't me I'm like free-spirited that would have been a valid argument honestly kind of felt like projection thanks psychology class psychology 101 she made it such a big deal she annoys me I don't like her at first I used to be oh I feel bad for her but now I really don't like her What is that? 1.083 miles on a 4.5% incline. Oh, Monday's done. So cold. I'm leaving work. Going. Whoop. I need to take out money. 
and take out some Wendy's as well. My motivation was below low. Speaking of lows and highs, I raised my credit score. I'm in the green, I'm officially in the green. It took me about a year and a half to get to the green side. All I could think about today, besides being tired, all I wanted to do was nap the whole day. And of course I couldn't because I'm at work and we don't have a nap place. We do have a treadmill and I got on that treadmill even though I was tired for 20 minutes. I even ran for a minute one whole minute I ran at 5.0 chal 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 did I pronounce that right probably not all I could think of was I cannot wait for Wednesday or Thursday to see the next episode of weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Ju I get into this obsessive addiction type state where I have to watch it even if it's one o'clock at night because I'm so tired not only will I be feeling crappy the next day I'm also feeling crappy already because I'm tired and my eyes are literally closing and so I fast forward through a lot of it so I could honestly benefit and safely watch the last two episodes again because there's no harm in watching them again because they went on the rooftop it was so cute he's so cute gosh and the, the sad part is that I'll never have that it's more towards the latter speaking of astronauts random John Glenn is on there oh he died oh that, now I'm sad John Glenn was I I didn't really care much about the whole astronaut stuff but you know he was an icon just kind of like I didn't really care that much about boxing but Muhammad Ali was an icon but the thing that kind of makes me sad is that I'll never have that young guy that's in love but in a good love not like you get a lot of lust but you know like you hear a lot and you see a lot in movies and everything and it's all about you know getting to the point of at least kissing if not more again it's not that this guy I'm sure this character it's weird to refer to him as a guy because it's a character so it's all kind of made up and it's kind of screwing with my mind right now as I'm talking oh gosh my friend had Kit Kats and she was not going to eat chocolate this week good job good job um but yeah so anyways the point is as I'm kind of going around the issue or the main point is that this guy is so cute and so innocent and I feel like the older you get the less likely you meet someone who's innocent it's going it's making me cry right now I, I guess in a way that's why I never liked older guys well I never got to experience that and especially nothing like this guy who is helping her be with her with his brother or not be with him but have at least a fighting chance and it's so cute it's just like this innocent little love and I'll never have that and I don't need to cry why I'm doing this speed dating and also because my mom signed me up to be fair I did ask her sort of at one point to help me in a way kind of not really but yes in a way <laughs> but I, I really am not looking for anyone right now because I honestly believe that the person that's for me they're not anywhere here they're somewhere else they're far away. I'm just so focused on, on getting the life I've always wanted to a, whatever point it can get that way. I'm not saying I will become this superstar overnight or ever, but I want to have a life that I'm proud of and that excites me to get up every morning and do things that I love and that inspire and that that just give energy to me and the people around me and the people that meet me. Because I think there's nothing better than meeting someone who loves their job or career. That's, uh, and this is why I'm going to the psychologist right now to figure out what is for me, what do I have to offer, what can I do, what do I love to do, where do, do those all meet, how am I going to move forward towards them from now on and that sounds like a tall tall order I was asked by my grandmother do I really not want anything for Christmas if they don't give me anything for Christmas I honestly don't think I'll be sad I'll be sad if they give me something because it will not be anything that's useful or something that I need right now I don't need anything all I need is this is so like whoa philosophical and whoa is sounding exactly what my dad keeps telling me. All I need is inside of me and I'm working so hard on believing that, not figuring, because I figure that out, but believing that and using that and living like that. 
Like, oh, they're strangling thing. Wow, 1921 is when he was born. That's so insane. That's so crazy cool. May he rest in peace, though. It's pink with diddles and diddlinas and whatever it has on it. Sheep, I think they also have. But uh, like experiences in people are more on the top of what I want on my list than anything else. So we'll see, we'll see. But uh, I'm going to go and uh, peace, love, and compassion, y'all. I will talk to you soon. So I can't tell you how much. Oh, I didn't go with heat the whole way here can tell you how much how many people are in their cars eating probably wendy's in the parking lot of not wendy's <laughs> so i didn't calculate it quite right so i have to go kind of out of my way for the atm i don't know if that's how you pronounce his name i miss that guy don't miss that show glad that show was over because that was emotional and you know what's not good at this Wendy's, the Frosty session over. It was more of a catch-up session. A little more get to know me. That's okay. Got some nice palpitations during it. So that road is called River Sticks Road. Kind of creepy. I can please her and anyone else. It's not going to solve the issues inside. This is kind of the realization that I, I have come to. I could claim like, yes, I've been healed. I don't want to do all these things. And I don't want this or that. I can tell you until the cows come home, all of this, if this is what you want to hear and this is what she wants to hear. But it's not going to heal me. It's not going to solve the problem. It's only going to make it worse if I'm not true to myself. Find my strong sense of self and be willing to disappoint her and disappoint other people and disappoint myself at the sake of being honest with myself. So tired. Of course, I don't say this because I just assume no one's watching. But if you are watching and it's your first time and you have not subscribed or liked or disliked, I don't know, a like or dislike and subscribe if you want to. And you always feel like if you've had something for a long time, you always feel like this will be the time. This will be the time that it will be worse. I'm trying not to let my mind go there. Do what you can about it now, but don't think about what will happen in five seconds from now. That so I need to I need to get back into that mindset uh, because it's true. But I just wanted you know to to re say that because I am kind of scared. Oh, I don't feel like doing anything <laughs> because there's so much editing, so much editing. Uh, anyways, all right. Have a wonderful night. Peace, love, and compassion, y'all.